In 2040, a man named Lincoln finds himself dreaming about being on a boat with his friend, Jordan. Suddenly, they find themselves surrounded by men who start attacking them, causing the boat to sink. Lincoln wakes up as the sensation of drowning fades, and the water disappears from around him. He gets up from his bed and assures himself that he is okay, just as he notices a message on one of the narrow screens telling him that he has a wellness check scheduled for the day at the Tranquility Center. Then he goes to the toilet, where a screen displays that he is displaying high levels of sodium in his urine. This meant that he would get a limited amount of food for the day to manage the levels. After this, Lincoln dresses up in the same white tracksuit as everyone else in the facility and joins other men in the elevator as they head for the cafeteria. While they are inside, an automated voice of a woman begins talking and claims that a man named Stark Weather has been selected through the lottery system to go to the island. This island is the only piece of land in the world that has remained virus-free. Everyone is kept inside the facility, and one by one, they are selected to go to the island, far away from the contaminated world outside. At that moment, Starkweather appears on the screen and expresses his excitement of finally being able to go out into the world. Once their elevator arrives at their destination, Lincoln gets out and joins the line at the serving table. Everyone at the facility is required to strictly follow the rules, with guards at every turn watching them. Lincoln swipes his bracelet at the table, which lets the serving lady know about his nutritional requirements. Due to high levels of sodium, she offers him an option between fruit and oatmeal. When he asks the woman for bacon, she dismisses him by telling him that he cannot have it. From a distance, his friend Jordan spots him arguing over bacon. She greets Lincoln and tells him to learn a thing or two about charming people from her. He watches Jordan as she approaches the lunch lady and manages to take extra bacon for breakfast. She then hands the bacon to Lincoln before they are interrupted by a guard who reminds them of the proximity rules. They immediately break apart and head to their tables to eat. Sometime later, Lincoln goes to the Tranquility Center for his wellness check and meets with Dr. Merrick. Before he can sit down, Lincoln notices Jordan's file open on the doctor's computer. Dr. Merrick closes it and asks him to take a seat. He begins talking and points out that Lincoln has been flagged multiple times this week, getting too close to Jordan. Once again, he reminds Lincoln of the proximity rules to which he replies that he has not forgotten them. The doctor also asks him about the elevated heart activity at night, which could only indicate a nightmare. Lincoln confesses that he has been having the same dream for weeks, where he finds himself on a boat in the middle of the ocean. When Dr. Merrick asks him to draw the boat for him, Lincoln draws a very detailed picture and the name that he writes on the bottom of the boat is in Latin. Dr. Merrick is surprised to see this, but does not give away any information and only tells Lincoln that he wants to run a brain scan on him. Lincoln sits down and the doctor uses a strange crawling device to enter his brain through his eyes. He informs Lincoln that the device will give a detailed reading to them in a few days. With that, he dismisses Lincoln after reminding him how lucky he is to be able to go to the island when the staff of the facility cannot. After this, Lincoln heads to the Department of Labor where he works with his friend Jones in the nutritional lines section. When Lincoln sits down, he asks his friends if they ever wonder what is happening around them. Jones does not seem to understand what he means and only replies that Dr. Merrick had told him that the nutritional lines fed their crops. While they come up with different theories of what is going on around them, a pregnant woman collapses nearby. A bunch of guards pick her up and wheel her away as she excitedly talks about it being her time to go to the island. As all of the women around her start clapping and congratulating her, the department's manager asks everyone to get back to work. Lincoln calls the tech services and complains that his computer is down again. He informs his manager who tells him to go down to level six and get help on his own, since he is busy. Lincoln takes this opportunity and rushes to level six, where only cleared personnel can enter and uses the manager's key to get in. Instead of finding someone to fix his computer, he goes to meet his friend James, who is a head technician. James shares stories with him as the two of them talk. However, on this day, James finds that Lincoln is full of questions. He keeps asking James questions, wondering what life was like outside before the contamination and what his sector looked like. James manages to ignore Lincoln's questions and leaves when he is called to help someone. Once James leaves, Lincoln notices a bug flying nearby. This piques his interest, since they had been told that all animals and birds had gone extinct. This is why he decides to trap the bug in a box and takes it back to his room. 
Meanwhile, James goes into a room to fix a faulty computer, but he notices two men moving a pod to the middle of the room. The pod is labeled Merrick Industries, and as they cut it, a fully grown human male, who is sucking his thumb, is revealed. Just then, other doctors enter the room, check the man's vitals, and claim that the product is ready for harvesting. On the other hand, Lincoln meets with Jordan and tells her about the bug. She too is surprised to hear about it, since they had been told that the contamination had killed everything. Lincoln presents her his theory that the outside world may just be a facade that they have put on and are misleading everyone. However, to his disappointment, Jordan cannot comprehend this and she dismisses it. Before the two of them can discuss it anymore, a new lottery winner is about to be announced. Everyone watches, waiting for the results, and is surprised to find that it is Jordan who will be leaving for the island. Lincoln congratulates her, even though he is not happy about her leaving. That night, he has another nightmare that wakes him up. Not being able to go back to sleep, Lincoln decides to test his theory and takes the bug back with him to level 6. He releases the bug and starts following it. He ends up at a narrow passage that he climbs through. When he lifts the tile above him, he finds himself inside a hospital. Lincoln puts on a hospital gown and sneaks inside one of the operation theaters. He discovers the pregnant woman from his department, who has given birth to a baby girl. To his horror, the doctor then takes the baby away and kills the woman. Her baby is given to a couple where the woman looks exactly like the pregnant woman. Lincoln decides to hide in the hallway, still not able to believe what he is seeing. All of a sudden, Starkweather, who was supposed to be on the island, appears in front of him. He is missing a major chunk of his chest and is screaming for help. Once the hallway is cleared and Starkweather is taken away, Lincoln decides to head back to the facility to figure out what is going on. At this point, he also realizes that Jordan is in danger. At the same time, inside the security room, a bunch of guards watch the footage of Starkweather being dragged away and joke about it. Just then, Dr. Merrick enters the room as well and watches the footage along with them. This is when he sees Lincoln hiding away in a corner. He immediately launches an alert for Lincoln and claims that he has been contaminated and needs to be quarantined. During this, Lincoln reaches Jordan's quarters and tells her the truth. He tells her that she is not going to any island, but rather her organs will be harvested and she will be killed. With guards rushing in to catch them, Lincoln and Jordan escape and head to level 6. The two of them manage to outrun the security and make it out into a field. They find themselves in the middle of nowhere, but discover that the air is not contaminated. Inside the facility, everyone is told that Jordan has safely made it to the island while Lincoln has been quarantined. Meanwhile, a group of investors is given a tour of the Merrick Industries building and is told they have managed to create the perfect product to help people live for longer. These products mimic their clients' DNA and are kept in a vegetative state until their organs are ready for harvesting. While the investors are given a more detailed overview, Dr. Merrick heads off to the side where he is approached by a man named Albert, a super-skilled ex-Delta Force member. He, along with his men, has been allocated by the Defense Department to help Dr. Merrick out with his problem. Dr. Merrick reveals that two of his products have escaped. When Albert hears this, he is confused since Dr. Merrick has told everyone that they are kept in a vegetative state. The doctor confesses that he had lied about that since he had discovered that the products were a failure without being awake. Their brains would just not function to the level required. Each product was provided with information that was appropriate for a teenager approximately 15 years of age. They had been fed false memories since they were babies. Outside, Lincoln and Jordan reach a highway and spend the night in an abandoned building as they continue to be hunted. In the morning, they end up at a bar, the name of which Lincoln had seen among James's personal items. There, he asks the bartender if he knows where James can be found. The bartender points him towards the toilet where he corners James. James ends up taking both Jordan and Lincoln back to his house, where he gives them a change of clothes and tells them the truth about who they are. He reveals that they are merely products that the rich used to live for longer. He even explains that their names indicate their client's name, and the numbers next to their name are area codes. He loads them up with money and takes them to the subway station so that they can go to Los Angeles. However, Albert's team catches up with them and shoots James dead. Seeing this, Jordan and Lincoln make a run for it and reach LA. There, as instructed by James, they call the woman whose clone is Jordan. They find that the woman is sick and requires an organ transplant. Before they can find more information, Albert and his team launch an attack against them and they are forced to run. They get into a high-speed chase with Albert's men, but manage to escape. 
To get away, they use the address that James had given them and end up at the man whose clone is Lincoln. The two of them sneak into his house and start looking around for him. Suddenly, he comes up behind them and attacks Lincoln as he thinks that they are intruders. Once everyone calms down, Lincoln explains to him the experiments that are being done and tries to gain his sympathy by telling him that none of the products are in vegetative states. Lincoln then notices the TV and claims that they should go to a news channel and broadcast Merrick Industries' secret for the world to see. At first, the real Lincoln is hesitant to join them, but shortly after, he agrees and goes to his room where he contacts Merrick Industries. With Albert now tracing all of their moves, the real Lincoln meets Lincoln and Jordan in his living room. However, as soon as Jordan sees him, she warns Lincoln that the man is lying to them. This is why Lincoln makes Jordan stay back at the apartment while the two of them take his car and head for the news studio. Lincoln insists on driving, but as soon as they stop at a traffic signal, Albert and his men show up. They begin shooting at their car, but Lincoln speeds up and they find themselves in another abandoned building. Albert's men immediately surround their car, but when the two men get out, Lincoln tricks them and pretends like he is the real man. They go back and forth as both of them claim to be the real one, but this time Lincoln sneakily places his bracelet on the real man's wrist, and when Albert notices it, he shoots the real Lincoln dead. Before he leaves with his body, Albert reminds Lincoln that needs to keep Merrick Industries' secrets safe. Sometime later, Lincoln gets back to the apartment and meets with Jordan. Just then, a Merrick Industries employee calls him and apologizes for the problems that had been caused for him. He promises that they have come up with a solution and intend to get rid of all the defective products. Meanwhile, inside the facility, Dr. Merrick orders his men to get rid of all the products that they suspect are defective so that they can retain their reputation. When Lincoln and Jordan hear about this, they come up with a plan. The next morning, Albert's men find Jordan's location and pick her up at a park. They take her back to the facility so that they can harvest her organs. At this point, Lincoln is invited inside the facility as well to make up for his insurance policy showing up at his house. When the employee takes Lincoln to the data room and begins to explain how things work, Lincoln takes his chance and hits him on the back of the head, knocking him out. Elsewhere, Jordan is led inside a room, but as they lay her down on the bed, she whips out a gun that she had stolen from the apartment and shoots the guards dead. She rushes to meet with Lincoln, but when they find each other, they discover that the process to get rid of defective products is already underway. A group of people had been told that they were going to the island. In that group is Lincoln's friend, Jones. They then decide to split up so that Lincoln can stop the mechanism controlling all the products. During this, Albert meets with Dr. Merrick, who informs him that Jordan's client is too sick for the organs to benefit her, but Jordan's organs are still going to be harvested. When Albert hears this, it does not sit well with him, and he begins to plot against Merrick Industries. Jordan, who was roaming around the restricted area, is confronted by Albert. At that moment, an employee informs him that the body that was brought in by Albert and his men belongs to their client not the product. He also hears alarms going off in the facility, indicating that Lincoln has reached the hologram power grid. This is the area where false memories are planted into the product's heads. Dr. Merrick decides to go after Lincoln himself and rushes towards the power grid. Jordan, along with the help of Albert, manages to free the group of products who were about to get killed for being defective. As soon as Lincoln reaches the power grid, he tries to shut it down, but Dr. Merrick shows up behind him and shoots him in the back. Despite being injured, Lincoln pushes his limits and knocks Dr. Merrick down, giving him the chance to shut the grid down. Since the turbines are still running at full speed, the sudden shutdown causes them to malfunction. However, Lincoln does not get the time to figure anything out as Dr. Merrick gets back up and tackles him to the ground. He starts strangling Lincoln, but before he can lose consciousness, Lincoln grabs Dr. Merrick's discarded gun and uses it to shoot him. This kills the doctor, and the malfunctioning turbines begin to give away. The explosion destroys the whole chamber, and the sunlight starts pouring in, and the holographic illusions that everyone could see disappear. Shortly after, everyone rushes outside to find that there is nothing wrong with the atmosphere. Then Lincoln and Jordan join everyone outside and celebrate their win. Thanks for tuning in. A thumbs up would be amazing, because I've got some bills to pay. Hey. With me, if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast, think you can get high with me, that's a deal, right?